Hello again, back to our uh-huh. Oopsie, I have a spot on my sweater. Now you know at least that I had a healthy yogurt for breakfast. Pluses quilt along. Last well, for the last two weeks we worked on the plus sign blocks. And this is really a fun part because you can work with so many different colors or prints and it's really fun. Now, I hope you have all your plus blocks already prepared. Do you? And then you can start to bring those into our background. So the goal of this week is to make subunits like that one, which I already did with the B patches. I will explain you how to bring this together. So the principle behind those subunits. So you get the idea how to transfer these to other projects. And so I expl- explain that in a minute. See you. I have now all my small pluses blocks in the large pluses blocks, which are sewn by Jonas. And now it's time to incorporate them into the background. Also, we have all the background pieces already cut and neatly organized in that folder. So I grab my plastic bag with all the B parts out of my folder. And then I have my layout plan here. And then I can start according to the layout plan and plan out all the pieces. I'm lucky enough to have such a nice design wall, a portable one. This is really cool because when I'm done with this project, then I can fold the design wall together back in the back and bring it down in my basement. Or I can bring that to a quilt retreat and have um, usable, such a usable zinc with me. So this is from, uh, I will link it below in the description box. Okay, now when you start to lay out all your background pieces, you can then bring in your plus signs block. It's still time that you can exchange the plus signs to your liking. I made myself already a sketch with I am happy with, so I don't have to rearrange. And so I know according to my sketch this plus sign goes here and that plus sign goes here so if you are not sure about your placement i would recommend that you lay out the complete quilt background pieces and then you can still rearrange the colors of your plus signs until you are absolutely happy and then you start sewing things together so how do i sew together one unit like the b unit it's similar as in a lock cabin the principle is that you start with the smallest pieces and join them to one larger piece so this is the smallest piece and that here too so you make that horizontal seam to form a larger rectangle here and the same here. So now you have this piece, a rectangle, that piece, a rectangle, and another piece, and only vertical seams to join. And this is how you um, saw together the unit B, and in the same manner, you would saw together all the other lettered units, or let's say subunits because later we will bring them together to the big hole piece. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do. And if you have such a design wall close to your sewing machine, it's just so easy to go back and forth when you are sewing and, well, you don't have to go down to your knees or have a huge mess, maybe laid out on a bed or on a table. So that's really a cool thing to have.
today my grandson uh, Aaron is visiting me. Aaron, will you come to my to me? Then can can you mal da reingucken and yay! Oh, so süß. So Aaron likes to make jigsaw puzzles and stuff like that, and I ask him if he would like to insert all these plus blocks uh, according to my layer. So this is our fun part here. Give me five. What? You! So, we brauchen jetzt the large plus das mit senf und weißen Punkten drauf ist in dem Stapel. Guck mal, ob das, das sind die kleinen, da sind die großen. Das ist das mit Strichen. Juhu! Wir kommen näher. Jawohl. Und das noch hier. Und der letzte. Juhu, Aaron, gut gemacht. Okay, du wirst auch später bei Oma in der Firma eingestellt. Gib mir fünf. Juhu, gutes Team. <laughs> Check out. <laughs> Cheers! Bye bye! <laughs> so, in case you are a little bit confused, if it doesn't match to the point sometimes, like here or so, you have to take into account that these are all pieces still having the seam allowance in addition. So, later when all the, the seams um, are incorporated, then the pieces will a little bit shrink and everything will match perfectly together. How lucky am I to have male cultures as my assistants? Well, I would say let's train the male gender to love quilts as much as we do. units for the lap size quilt will look like. If you are sewing the bed size or the baby size, you will have also the A subunit on top and instead of this border here, you would have all the, sub, the complete subunit for the letter N here. But you know, the bed and baby size have a little bit a different layout than the lap size which we are sewing here. So this is for this week and then we will meet next week when we then join subunits in larger chunks to make our quilt top complete. See you then, bye bye!